Hey, it's Lizzy, and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep updated with my videos and also press the notification bell. Um, it just means that you'll get an email when I upload. So you know, basically, videos do not get pushed to my subscribers. Very annoying. YouTube, can you stop doing that? But anyway, literally just going to jump straight into this video. It's going to be about the new nude stunner lip paints from Fenty Beauty. Definitely didn't expect to be back already doing another video about Fenty Beauty, but they've dropped so many different new launches and I have been waiting for new stunner lip paints for a long time. So I'm really excited to have these and just play with new shades. So if you don't know much about Fenty Beauty, Fenty Beauty is Rihanna's beauty brand. So they launched last year in September, when they launched, they launched with foundations, one lip colour. I love lip colour, so I was like, where's the lip stuff? So then they launched the Stunner Lip Paint in December last year. So they only had one shade and it's called Uncensored and it's a really beautiful red. It's described as a universal red and this is the only shade they've had for a year. So they launched four new shades, three of them are nudes and the fourth shade is a black and I'm just not interested in black lipstick. It looks slightly different to these. The lid's like a, like a matte black. I think it's a limited edition packaging probably because of Halloween because it's a black lipstick. I'm just guessing. So just to take you through the shades that I have. So we have Unbutton which is a peachy nude. Uncuffed which is a rosy mauve or mauve if you say it that way. And Unveil which is a chocolate brown. So the shade I have on right now is Unbutton but I've used it with a liner. It's so funny because when I first tried this, I absolutely hated it. I was like, nope, this is too light for me. I'm not wearing it. But then when I tried it with a liner, I changed my mind. So, and the fourth shade is called Uninvited. And like I said before, it's a black. They were £19 each. So you get four millilitres or 0.13 fluid ounces. They last 12 months. So um, once it's opened, you have to throw it away after 12 months. In terms of the packaging itself, it's like a solid glass and the lid is like a mirrored, mirrored? A mirrored plastic so I'm not crazy about the wand it's just really small it's really strange and it's not very flexible so it's very rigid it's got this weird curve in the middle which collects products but I will talk about that later in all very nice packaging very solid I feel like you get what you pay for with your 19 pound so before I bought these I watched a video that Priscilla Ono the global makeup artist for Fenty Beauty did with them and she basically said that you can apply the gloss bomb to your lips before you use the stunner lip paint as sort of like a base but you apply just a little dab it in and that allow it to dry so it doesn't affect the formula and I thought that was an interesting tip. She also basically talks about how to use the wand and she says that if you turn it upside down it's easier to use. Um, it is slightly but not really. I feel like that wand could be much better. So I'll just get into swatching everything I have, apply it all to my lips and then I'll come back with my final thoughts. So just want to show a quick close up of the packaging. It does say one stroke intensity, 12 hour matte wear with unrivaled precision wand. So I'm going to start with shade Unbutton and that's the lightest shade. Again, here's a close up of the packaging and the wand as well. I do think this just collects too much product. I think it's just slightly too small. So I am going to scrape off as much product as I can before I apply. And then I also flip the applicator upside down. This is something Priscilla Ono suggested. And this does help line the lips, but I still think it's quite thick. Press my lips together quite a lot as well throughout the application just to kind of disperse the product evenly. I mean, they're right about it being one stroke intensity. You really don't need a lot of this product. So I keep pressing my lips together and making sure it's even. This one was a little bit more patchy probably because it's quite light, but it did make it work. And I also pressed it against my hand just so you could see how it transfers because it does transfer quite a bit even when it's dry. And here's how it looks against the bottle. So it's slightly darker when it dries. So yeah, as I said already, I do prefer this with a liner. So the one I'm using is by Makeup Forever. It's called Versatile Chestnut. So it's just a nice brown and it works really well with my skin tone. So I do have a little of the gloss bomb on my lips already to prep and that's the original Fenty Glow shade. And then I go in with Unbutton and I just kind of focus this on the center of my lips and press out and I keep applying till I get the right intensity. And it's kind of like a ombre effect and I just like how it looks like this. So the next shade I'm gonna swatch is Uncuffed. And again, here's a close up of how it looks in the packaging. So this is a really nice, beautiful pink color. And again, I'm gonna flip that brush upside down and try and line my lips. As you can see, it's very close in tone to my natural 
lip colour, which is really nice. I think this is why it's my favourite of the nudes. So I didn't have to apply very much of this and here's how it dries down. So it's a little bit darker than it is in the packaging. Next I'm swatching Unveil and again, here's a close up. So again, this is described as a chocolate brown. I do think it's more of like a purpley brown. I did find it a bit more awkward to apply. <laughs> I did get it on my teeth a little, but it's quite easy to remove and Again, it's just better if you try and keep the coats as thin as possible and then if you need to go in with more product, do that afterwards. So this one was a little bit more patchy for me. I don't know why I found the texture a little bit drier when it dried down, but it still was pretty comfortable to wear and it looks really beautiful. So against the bottle, it does look a lot darker than it does in the packaging. I thought I'd also swatch Uncensored here, which is the red, the original shade from last year. This is my favorite of all of them still. As with the others, I apply it by trying to line my lips and then press together throughout to try and disperse it evenly. But as you can see, it's so pigmented. I barely need any product at all. And as with the others, I don't need to dip into the bottle at all. I literally just scrape it all off and whatever's left on is enough for my whole entire lip. And here's how we're looking when we're done. I feel like this one's more true to how it looks in the bottle. So the pros of these are that obviously that they're very pigmented. You could see with all the swatches that I barely had to use any product and it was covering my lips. With the lighter colour on button, I was finding it was becoming a bit patchy, but I was barely using any product. Fenty Beauty claims these are universal. I would say maybe these are universal and this one not so much. I feel like you do have to be lighter for this to work unless you're happy to wear it with a liner like I have here. But otherwise, I had absolutely no problem with these at all. They're definitely more pigmented and you really get that pigment and payoff straight away. Because the formula is not too thick, it sits nicer than some other matte liquid lipsticks that I have. It's not too drying either. But I do think they're quite comfortable to wear. Feels very nice on the lips now, I can barely feel it. And so I'd agree that it is weightless. I do love the packaging. I, I mean, it looks a bit like a nail varnish, which is a bit strange, but I do quite like it. Okay, cons. I don't like the precision wand or whatever it is. It's, it's too rigid. It's tiny, but it's a weird shape, so it doesn't really help. And then the product just kind of gets stuck in the curves and the grooves of it. It's really bizarre because I will be scraping off everything and there's still so much product left on it. It says it's long lasting. Mm, not really sure about that. I mean, it will technically be there all day, but just some of it, not all of it. It does transfer quite a bit, which is kind of annoying if you expect it to stay on. But for me, that doesn't really bother me. With all my lipsticks, they all come off and it doesn't bother me to reapply it. So the gloss bombs smell amazing. These don't smell of anything. Ooh, they're kind of similar in colour. They would go really nice together. Um, side note. But yeah, they don't really smell of anything. That can be a pro or a con. And the last thing I would say is that I wish there were liners with all of these products to make them easier to apply. Especially because this inside bit is really hard to get with these and yeah, I just, I just want liners. Uncensored remains my favourite shade because it's just so beautiful, it's so universal, it's such a nice red. That's probably the one I'd recommend for everyone. The others, I think it really depends on your skin tone and what kind of colours that you like. I would definitely love to see shades like in between these. But yeah, overall, they are good products. It really just depends on what you're looking for in a matte liquid lip. Yeah, I hope that breaks it down for you. And yeah, if you wanna see more videos or you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you in a new video soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!